dramatic day at the Cricket World Cup and details of England's new rugby captain. But first to Villa Park where Birmingham have beaten Aston Villa 2-0 in a bad-tempered Midlands derby. Stan Lazaridis and Jeff Horsfield with the goals as Steve Bruce decided the double over Villa who ended the match with nine players. Peter Enkelman and Aston Villa out to avenge the humiliating defeat to their bitter rivals in September. Tempers were frayed early on. Christophe Dugarry and Joey Goodjonton clashed. The Frenchman appeared to spit at his opponent in the aftermath. Villa threatened first. Hendry inches away from giving his side the lead. Back came the visitors. Enkelman did well to push Dugarry's shot over the crossbar to keep it goalless at half time. The game boiled over after the interval. Dion Dublin caught Robbie Savage with a late tackle and then took exception to the Welsh international's reaction. Savage went to ground in the ensuing melee. Replays indicated Dublin had headbutted the Birmingham midfielder. His action gave referee Mark Halsey no alternative but to show the red card. It got worse for Villa. Jeff Kenneth Cross found his way through to Stan Lazaridis and he notched his first goal of the season. It was two for Birmingham within three minutes. J. Lloyd Samuels' header fell short of Enkelman. The keeper was robbed by Jeff Horsfield, who scored his second against Villa this season. Enkelman left with a feeling of deja vu. Villa lost their call completely thereafter. Goodjonton went in two-footed on Matthew Upson and picked up his second booking. Villa down to nine men. There was unrest in the crowd too. One fan ran onto the pitch to confront Savage and Enkelman of all people the man to calm down the situation before it turned into a repeat of the scenario at St Andrews. It finished 2-0 in a game said to be remembered for all the wrong reasons. Dameshev, Sky News. We're delighted with the results.